Hey, what's up guys? It's Jacob bringing you guys another unboxing. This time it is of the Lunatic Epic, uh, which is a pretty cool Apple Watch case. Uh, this is the aluminum and brown leather model. Um, just flipping around the box, letting you guys see everything about it, kind of what it looks like. That's their Lunatic's pretty cool logo. I don't exactly know what it is, but it looks kind of neat. And the back here just shows an exploded view of the case itself. Uh, it is a little bit difficult to assemble and it's giving you a little bit of a hint on what that's going to be like. Um, so you just pull off that sleeve and you've got a very nondescript black box with a little tab. Uh, you pull on the tab and you get that fun stuff open. Um, folds out and there you have it, the Lunatic, lunatic Epic, that's kind of hard to say. Uh, pull that off of that nifty little thing there and it has been freed. We have a very cool Apple Watch case along with a brown leather band. Um, now I know this is in the box however I have used this for a couple weeks when I had threw it back in the box so you could see it. And we'll go ahead and set that aside and we're gonna pull out all the rest of the stuff. We've got some literature and some tools in here that are going to be used to actually take apart and put back together the Apple or the, I'm sorry, the Lunatic Epic. Um, there's that weird looking logo again. Um, and let me get this box out of the way. Um, and now we've got, said some literature here. Um, this goes through and says some kind of funny things uh, like always use protection because, you know, it's a case. So they think they're being super clever. Um, it is pretty funny though, I must agree. Um, we'll get rid of that. Um, and we've got the instructions on actually how to put the thing together. Um, once again, with that exploded view um, of the case itself. And then we have um, some instructions that don't really apply to this particular model because we have the leather band, but we have the tools that will be needed to actually take apart and reassemble this case. Um, we also have got two extra little screws there, just in case we lose the other ones. Uh, I don't know if I'm gonna need those at any point in time, but um, maybe I will. Um, so let's go ahead and uh, take this, um, kind of lay it out, take it apart, so we can get it on the Apple Watch itself. Now that we've got my other case and uh, band pulled off the Apple Watch, we can actually start putting together this one. Uh, and this one is a little bit involved. Um, it's not super easy to do, uh, unfortunately. Um, I'm going to go ahead and put these extra screws back in the little bag so I don't lose them uh, because the uh, case is held together uh, by a rod and some screws already. Um, so you've got these two Allen wrenches, you've got the uh, L-shaped Allen wrench and you've got the straight Allen wrench and you actually have to take both of these at the same time and um, as I'm doing here you've got to put one to, to hold the rod stationary and then the other one to twist uh, to pull the screw out um, and that rod does go through the band itself, it's what holds the band on. Uh, so once you've done that you can take the screws out and you have to do two of them um, so this is a very secure case. It's not something you're really going to be taking on and off of the Apple Watch uh, every day. Once it's on there, it's pretty much on there. Um, so like I said, as you can as you can see me kind of struggling, it's not a very easy process. Uh, and that's a big complaint I have with this uh, particular case, that it is really hard to uh, assemble and disassemble. Uh, but once you do it, once you pull the screws out, you just pop it apart. Um, and that's not even that easy so you can be assured that your Apple watch is very protected uh, in this case um, but now that I've got it apart I'm gonna go ahead and slide in my uh, my Apple watch um, right into the uh, the case uh, and as you can tell on here uh, the way this case pops on it does take away the ability to use any kind of uh, watch bands that are designed specifically for the Apple watch 
And what you end up having to do is use uh, bands that are designed to work with this case. And so far, I believe the only people making um, the bands that go along with this case are indeed Lunatic. Um, they were selling them separately on their website uh, as of a month or so ago, but now it does not look like they are. Um, so it looks like you're pretty much stuck with whatever band you get with the case. Um, that may change, uh, and you, there may be a way to use standard app or standard watch bands, I should say, that I have not yet discovered. Um, but um, now I'm just going to put in this last screw here, and voila, your Apple Watch is in this case and it is not coming out um, I went ahead and uh, I'm going and tighten them down just a little bit uh, it stresses in a couple places in the literature that you do not need to over tighten this uh, so that's probably because you can strip the screws and then getting your Apple watch out would be very difficult but all in all I really like this case um, the leather band is really nice um, this does make the, the watch uh, even bigger than it already is, as this only works with 42 millimeters, so you're already using a fairly large Apple Watch, uh, and then you're adding this bulky case around it. But it is very, um, very secure. It's very nice. Um, the, I guess the digital crown is covered, and so is the, um, the favorites button on the side. Uh, and one big complaint I have about this Apple Watch case is that um, anytime you risk it, you push your hand back, um, you do hit that digital crown a lot more than you do generally. Um, but it is very responsive, it works great, I've had no issues with that. Um, so all in all, my um, take on this case, is I really like it, it's very rugged, it makes your watch uh, look pretty cool as well, uh, very protective. Um, it's a little bit too bulky. The digital crown also gets pushed a lot on accident and it's really hard to put on and take off this case.